In this video, I'll show you three steps to get Pikachu in Pokemon Scarlet Violet, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, it's Phil, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Now, I do have to admit, Pikachu is one of my most favorite Pokemon of all time. And if you're watching this video, he's likely pretty high up on your list as well. Fist bump! When I started the game, he was the first Pokemon that I started searching for and trying to figure out how to catch. And of course, along with Pikachu was Eevee, and if you need help with catching Eevee, then you can check out my other video, and I'll put a link down in the description. So, Pikachu is a rare spawn, which means that even if we do find the location of where he spawns, it's still going to be a little more difficult to find him. The Pokedex shows us that he likes to live near trees, which is probably some of the most useless information that a game could have ever given us, because there's basically trees everywhere. And it also says that he's rarely seen, but we already knew that information. So, right out of the gate, we know that we're going to need a couple things, or a tips video, to help us with finding this Pokemon. Now, Pikachu is obviously an electric type Pokemon, so I started looking for sandwiches that would boost the encounter power for electric type Pokemons. So, I went into the sub shop, and I found that an avocado sandwich does in fact boost the encounter power for electric type Pokemons. But holy cow, can you imagine wanting a Pokemon so bad that you would eat an avocado sandwich? And after the little cutscene, you'll find that in the top right hand corner, the stat boosted for encountering electric type Pokemons. Hey guys, if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Okay, great. So now once we do get to the location of where Pikachu spawns, we can more or less guarantee that we'll see a lot of them running around. But we're not quite ready to go hunting just yet. You see, when you do encounter Pikachu, we want to be sure that we can catch him easily. So, find yourself a ground-type Pokemon such as Diglett, and trust me, I get it, nobody wants a Diglett, but Diglett's gonna prove you wrong today. Just make sure that it's pretty low level, because when you attack Pikachu, you don't want to kill him. Pikachu will typically try to hit you with the Thunder Wave move, and it doesn't work on Diglett, or many other ground-type Pokemon, you may want to also grab some Paralyzed Heal from the Pokemart before heading over to the area to start catching Pikachu because every time you hit Pikachu, he'll zap you and paralyze you, which can be pretty annoying. Now when you look at the map, you'll see that there are several places where Pikachu spawn, and thankfully there's one that's super close to the region where you start the game. The spot that we're going to be focused on is this little area right here. It's located near the east side of Cortondo. And if you want to search out some higher level Pikachus, then you might check out some of the other locations a little bit later in the game. So if you're looking at the map, we're going to kind of want to center on the Academy and travel west and you'll find Cortando East. Once you spawn in, you'll want to head left while you're facing your character, and the spawned area is located in this little indention of the mountain right here. Now once you get there, you shouldn't have any issues getting Pikachu. You should be able to use a normal Pokeball and catch him pretty easy. And then next, check out one of my other videos on how to find Eevee, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful. See you next time, guys.